Hi, I'm Philip, and this is a quick tutorial video on downloading a Windows 8.1 with Update 1 OEM ISO and the preparation of a bootable USB for the OEM install. That's with a UEFI BIOS with Secure Boot. Here are the download links that you'll need. The Windows Media Creation Tool, which allows you to download a Windows 8.1 with Update 1 ISO. And this updated ISO accepts both Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 product keys. From now on, I'll only mention Windows 8.1, but it'll equally apply to Windows 8.0. And we'll also use Rufus to prepare a bootable USB. The biggest issue with regards to reinstallation of a Windows 8.1 OEM license is the fact that Microsoft decided to make eight editions of Windows 8.1 OEM and only support five of them with the Windows Media Creation Tool. Second of all, Microsoft only gave OEMs four different sticker types to determine the different editions. As a rule of thumb, the Windows 8.1 N and Windows 8.1 Pro N editions are extremely rare, so you're unlikely to have these editions installed. In 99.99% .99 of the cases, this cuts down two editions. If you have the first sticker, you're most likely to have Windows 8.1. However, some systems will have Windows 8.1 single language. So if you can't determine your precise edition from system, try Windows 8.1 first, and then Windows 8.1 single language secondly. If you have the second sticker, then select Windows 8.1 Pro. If you've got the third sticker, these were OEM only, three editions of Windows 8.1, and unfortunately Microsoft chose not to support them with the Windows Media Creation Tool. The last edition is Windows RT, and this isn't a true Windows 8.1 edition, and it's unsupported by this tool. On the page for the Windows Media Creation Tool, left-click the button which says Creating Media, and save the Windows Media Creation Tool. Double-click it in the Downloads folder, and select Yes to launch it. The first thing you'll need to do is select your language, and that's simple enough. Just select the language that you want. You can select any language you want, even for a Windows 8.1 single language license. The next part is the most complicated option, and that's the option of edition. And to check the edition if your computer can boot, right click the start button and select system and it will tell you your Windows edition at the top as shown. So you can see that this edition is just Windows 8.1. And you can also check the Windows activation status and the product ID. And you can see it's an OEM license as it says OEM in the product ID. So now I can select Windows 8.1 as the edition and it's an OEM license. So in the bulk of cases, it will be 64 bit except for a very low-powered tablet device. So now I'll select Next, and now I'll download the ISO, and I'll just save it to Downloads. You can use the Windows Media Creation Tool to make a bootable USB directly. However, I don't really recommend doing this because it's much easier to make a bootable USB from an ISO than it is to make an ISO from a bootable USB should you need it later on. The Windows Media Creation Tool also will not format the USB device correctly. In order to boot with Secure Boot, the USB device has to be FAT32 formatted. If it's NTFS formatted, the Media Creation Tool will still create a bootable USB but this bootable USB will not show in the boot menu when Secure Boot is enabled. You'll need to re-download the ISO again and make the bootable USB correctly. Therefore, I recommend you just follow the procedure as I do it. 
So now that I have the ISO, I'm just going to close down the Windows Media Creation tool. And now I'm going to use Rufus. So on the Rufus download page, just select download and then select save and then view the downloads and just launch Rufus. Select yes at the user account control prompt. And then the first thing you want to do is to select the Windows 8.1 ISO. Then you want to change the partition scheme to GPT. You want to change the file format to FAT32. And then you want to select start and then OK. Your USB flash drive will need to be 4 gigabytes or superior. And Rufus will take some time to write the necessary files to it. When all the files are written across, Rufus will say done to the bottom. You can now use the USB flash drive to either refresh, reset or reinstall Windows 8.1 with update 1. So I'm just going to shut down the computer now by right clicking the start button and selecting shut down. And I'm going to power up the Dell with the USB flash drive inserted and I'm going to press F2 to enter the BIOS setup. For other vendors, you'll need to refer to your manual as the hotkeys will be different for the BIOS and the boot options. So I'm just going to look at the BIOS settings and I'm going to go to Advance by pressing the right arrow key. And I'm going to press the down arrow key till I get to SATA operation and I want this to be at AHCI. This is essentially set up for a solid state boot drive. The Intel Rapid Response technology would be used for a solid state catch drive and I don't really recommend a solid state catch drive. So I'll press the right arrow key till I get to the boot menu and I want secure boot to be enabled and I want it to be standard and then I'll press F10 and I'll exit saving changes and as I see the Dell BIOS again I'll press F12 and this will give me the boot manager and I'll make sure my USB flash drive is highlighted and I'll press enter so now I'll see the Dell logo for a minute or two and then the Windows setup should begin. And the first screen you should be presented with will be the language and keyboard settings. And because the English United Kingdom is always used in this case, these will all be set to United Kingdom as default. So I will just select next and then I'll select install now. I now get a screen saying setup is starting and Windows 8.1 is automatically inputting the Windows 8.1 product key that resides within the UEFI BIOS. If I had used the incorrect edition, then I would be prompted for a product key. Because the correct edition has been selected, I'm taken straight to the license agreement screen. In short, if you're asked for a product key, you've prepared the wrong edition and you'll need to download the correct ISO and begin to install from it. So in order to install, I recommend selecting custom and I recommend deleting all the partitions or using this part and clean before the installation. But right now I'm just going to exit the installation. And that's the end of this tutorial video. You may find the videos complimentary written guide useful and it's available here on my website. If you've got questions you're best to ask on the Dell community forums, the Windows 8 forum or for a non-Dell system go to Microsoft Answers. You may feel free to comment on the video on YouTube of course but questions are better asked on the forums where a multitude of experts are available to help you.
please subscribe and like the video and have a nice day. Thanks.